Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me Spanglish247 and I'm here with another video but this video is very interesting because instead of using sunscreen, this is what I use. Well, my personal use. I use vitamin E and I use aloe vera because aloe vera is very good to protect you from the sun. So this is what I've been using for a couple of years now. And I'm going to show you how I apply it and how I do everything, okay? To be able to put on my supposedly sunscreen. But I use everything organic. I try my best to use everything organic or to use natural stuff. Because you know what they put on the sunscreen is no good. Some of those chemicals or ingredients they be using for other stuff. Like, um, I will say like different kind of stuff. If you read the, the back of the sunscreen, you can notice all these ingredients and they're not really healthy for the face. So I'm going to show you some really healthy stuff for the face and that it really protects your face from the sun. Look at my face. Hmm? I've been using this for years. You see that? No sunscreen. I never use sunscreen. Never, never, ever in my life use some sunscreen. When I go to the beach, I use this as well. So I'll show you. What I do is I wash my face. Always wash your face first. So I wash my face. You can go ahead and wash it with soap or water, but my face is already clean. So I'm just gonna wash it with some water. Dry my face. Always pat it, don't scrub. I already took a shower, but I wanted to show you this before I apply my sunscreen, well, my organic sunscreen. And I wanted to show you how I do it. So what I do is I grab a piece of aloe vera, like this, and I just start applying it to my face. See that? Just apply it to the face. There you go. Before it dries, you have to apply the vitamin E. You know how the vitamin E is a little bit thicker? So that's why I use the aloe vera first. Just apply it to all the spots you want to be protected from the sun. There you go. Always, don't forget the nose right here and it helps to whiten your face too i noticed that it whites my face it cleans it up it cleans all the aging dots and everything as well and especially when you have kids you get this these stains in your face you can't even remove that with this that's the good thing of aloe vera and vitamin e just go ahead and apply it right there down here you see that there goes my sunscreen and then I come over here and I grab my vitamin E and I give a good squeeze right here like this. I apply it and just apply it to all the spots you want to protect yourself from the sun and go like this. See, this is what I do to protect myself from the sun. Because my face is not ruined or anything. It does not have terrible stains from the sun. It's actually really clean. You see that? And I never, never use sunscreen. I'm scared of sunscreen. It feels really weird in the face as well. Just apply it. There you go. Don't forget the nose. Go, go up. There you go. This is what I do every day or every time you go outside and it's terrible and you see that terrible sun or you can always throw on a hat. I've been using hats all the time. Every summer I use hats, never take them off and then I wear this every summer or when the sun is really strong. This is what I do. You see that? Okay. And then we let our face dry. The aloe vera is going to get dry really fast and then you, you're gonna end up having this thick paste of um vitamin e but remember wait like 15 minutes before drying this off okay you have to wait 15 minutes for it to dry and you're just gonna go ahead and wash it off and i'm gonna show you what i do i just go ahead instead of because i'm just giving you a demonstration of what i do every day so instead of putting soap to wash all this off after it's dry, after you waited 15 minutes for it to dry, you're going to come over here. Don't use hot water. We're going to use cold water, no soap or anything. We're just going to wash off 
the aloe vera. You're gonna feel when it's all off your face. Don't scrub it until you get everything off. No, you gotta leave a little bit of that vitamin E, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and wash. You're gonna feel all that jelly, that thick jelly. I'm gonna wash off it. Wash this off. There you go. There you go. You see that? Once it's off, you're gonna have this. Um, you see that? How the water drips and doesn't absorb? You're gonna see this. Then you're gonna dry this off. There you go. But don't scrub it or try to take this thick, consistent off your face. Leave a little of that vitamin C. You see that? That little shininess right there. You could go ahead and grab a paper towel or anything and try to get some of it off. And there you go. And right after, you can go ahead and use whatever you use, your moisturizers, your face creams, and just put them on and that's it. And you have that, that layer of aloe vera that got sucked into your skin and then the vitamin E that's gonna protect your face as well. And then you could add whatever moisturizer you use. I use this one. And uh, like I, I have another video that I put up that I use uh, olive oil and this product right here to remove some of my wrinkles and it actually works but this is the part when i before i apply all this i do my my aloe vera gel and my vitamin e so i could have like my sunscreen instead of using the chemical sunscreen the original one no it's not good for the face so if you want to try this method go ahead it really works for me like you can see right here my face is really really pretty so if you want to try it out go ahead well, if you want to see more videos of these, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. So, thank you for coming to my channel. Bye!